What's going on, Hermination? I have a good workout for you guys today. This is a total body workout, and you can do it if you're a beginner, intermediate, advanced. You can adjust the settings of this workout, whether you want to do supersets, high intensity, higher reps, faster reps, no rest in between, whatever you want to do, okay? The way I'm going to do this exercise, or this routine, is I'm going to superset each machine with another one. Supersetting is doing two machines at once. There's going to be two, three sets, 15 to 20 reps per exercise. However, for demonstration purposes, to get through all the machines in a timely manner, all I'm going to do is bounce back and forth between the two machines that I'm going to superset, and I'm going to explain to you what to do. Okay? So this is your next installment for the BA10 2010 series. This is a circuit training workout with the Cybex machines. If your gym doesn't have the Cybex machines, you'll be able to find stuff similar to what we're doing now. So just use those ones, okay? And if you have any specific questions on how to actually use the equipment, I have all these machines demonstrated in individual videos that you can find on the YouTube channel by typing in the name of the machine, which I'm going to say, and I'm going to have written on the top, and then typing into the YouTube channel, Scott slash, or just type in Scott, lat pull down, lat pull down shows up, okay? So, let's get started. Now again, for this exercise routine, I'm going to be doing supersets, so 15 to 20 reps per exercise, per machine, and you go back and forth between two machines for three sets, okay? So the first one you're gonna do is over here, lap pull downs. So you're gonna sit down. You're gonna make sure you have proper form, and you're gonna do 15 to 20 reps. Okay. As soon as you finish your 15 to 20 reps, you're gonna jump up. You're gonna come over here. And this is the incline press. And you're gonna sit down, lean back, and then you're gonna perform another 20 reps. Okay. Make sure you maintain proper form. Make sure you're breathing properly. When you get to your 15 to 20 reps here, you go back to the lat pull down, and then you go back and forth three times, okay? The next two machines you're gonna do is going to be a chest press. So you're gonna sit down, you're gonna do 15 repetitions, make sure that the machine has the proper settings adjusted. 15 reps in the chest press. As soon as you're done, superset it with the glute machine, okay? Side next loop. Now you're gonna have to do each leg over here, okay? And each leg has the same amount of repetitions, 15 to 20. So you're gonna get down, put your knee on the pad, put one foot up, and make sure the weight to the stack doesn't hit when you do the machine. So you're gonna go through it, 15 to 20 reps, switch legs, and then another set of 15 to 20 reps. And then you're going to go back and forth three times. Now remember, if that's too much for you, do one machine at a time, or go through the whole circuit once, and then go through it two more times, okay? 15 to 20 second max rest in between, maybe 30 seconds if you really need it. After you complete that superset, you're going to come over here to the row rear delt machine. Now you're not going to use the pad, because you're going to incorporate more of your core into the exercise if you don't use it. Put it on an amount of weight that you can do. Sit up straight, keep your shoulder blades pinched together, keep your core nice and tight, and then you gotta perform the row. Now, as soon as you finish 15 to, 15 to 20 reps, you're gonna grab the top handles, and now you're gonna work your rear delt. So you're supersetting but using the same machine to do two different exercises. So pull back just like this. Then as soon as you're done, Go back to the low row. And as soon as you finish 15 to 20 reps there, go back to the rear delt. After you complete that machine, you're gonna go to the hip abduction and adduction, okay? Superset these two together, go back and forth. Now, if you wanna superset different machines, that's fine. You have to do it the way I'm doing it. I'm just giving you guys an example. So, jump down, get your body in position, 15 to 20 reps. As soon as you're done, jump over here on the adduction machine. Slide yourself in. 15 to 20 reps. Make sure you're breathing regularly. Then as soon as you're down, go back and forth. Three sets. Next two machines I want you guys to try supersetting are going to be leg extension and leg curls. This is the Cybex leg extension machine. You're going to jump right in, adjust the weight, the seat, and the leg pad. 
Make sure the pad is resting just above your ankles. It's a little too high for me. Bring it down a little bit. Perfect. So, 15 to 20 reps. Control the movement. As soon as you're done, leg curls. Adjust it to your proper height. Bring your feet up. Now on this machine, you want the pad to be just about where your ankle is. Keep your toes pointed up and bring your heels to your butt. All the way down, go nice and slow. All the way down, up nice and slow. All the way down, nice and slow. Now at this point in time, if you're feeling a little bit tired, that's okay, you're gonna keep going, okay? The next two things you're gonna do is you're gonna do biceps and triceps, okay? This is the, the arm extension machine. Adjust it to your proper seat settings. And then you're gonna sit down, bring your elbows forward, and you're gonna perform 15 to 20 reps. As soon as you're done, you're gonna superset this machine with biceps, the arm curl machine. It's arm extension, this is arm curl. Adjust your seat, sit properly in the seat. Put your elbows in line with the pivot point of the machine. Come all the way up. And you're gonna do 15 to 20 arm curls. Now, as soon as you're done, go back and forth three times. And then you're gonna jump over here and you're going to do the overhead press. Now, to super sit on this, you're gonna super set this with floor crunches, okay? So you're gonna sit down, put on the desired weight, lean back, put your head back, and you're gonna push over your head, breathe out on the way up. Your elbows forward. As soon as you finish 15 repetitions, I want you to go down on the ground. Put your feet up if you want. And you're gonna perform floor crunches. Put your hands behind your head if you need to. Just make sure you keep your face parallel to the ceiling. Hold your arms up. It's gonna make it a little hotter. And just make sure you're getting that arch in your back. And then as soon as you're done, Pull yourself back up. 15 more of those. Three sets, super set it. Now, the last two things you're gonna do in this circuit is you're gonna super set the leg press machine with the ab crunch machine, okay? So, you're gonna jump in the leg press. Make sure you put your feet up really high because you never want your knees to go past your toes, and you want to make sure you're pushing with your heels. Keep your head back, come back all the way, 90 degrees, push through with your heels, come back 90 degrees, push through with the heels, and make sure you breathe out on the way forward. As soon as you finish 15 to 20 reps there, you know, jump on the ab crunch machine. Now, it's personal preference for seat height. I like to bring the seat all the way down to extend the maximum arch of my back. If you're not strong enough for that yet, raise the seat a little higher so that the motion isn't as long, okay? This machine has a seat belt on it. I like to use it because then I can bring my feet behind me, get more of an arch, and then it keeps me in the seat. And what you're gonna do, put your hands up top, come all the way down, all the way up, Breathe out the way down. Then you're gonna perform 15 to 20 reps on there. Go back and forth three times. And that completes your Cybex circuit for your next installment for the BA10 2010 series. Now remember, 15 to 20 reps per, per machine, three sets per exercise. If you wanna make it harder, you can superset it like I just showed you. If you're a beginner, go one machine at a time. If you wanna increase your intensity, increase the size of the weights. And also remember, you don't have to do it in the same order I did. 
If you want to switch up the order or switch up the two machines that you superset, that's perfectly fine. So give it a shot. Let me know what you think in the comments section. And as always, guys, more good stuff coming soon. See ya.